Hello, in this PPSSPP video, I'm going to show you how to turn the on screen controls off on your, you know, Android version of PPSSPP or, you know, iOS on your, mo on your mobile version. Why would you want to do this? I've got a Xbox controller connected to my phone, so I can actually move around to that. So, me, you know, doing this is using my controller. You might even be able to hear the clicks on it. So if I, let's say, launch up the game right now, you see these on-screen controls. I'm moving these controls are not getting triggered by my finger, they're getting triggered by the controller. And these on-screen controls are fine if you don't have a controller connected. But if you have a controller connected, it kind of, you know, just is just taking up extra space. So what you want to do is you want to click the back button right now to go back. So for me, is a swipe. And you want to go to settings, and it could be settings from here or from the menu. But let's say if you go to settings, go to controls, and go to on screen touch controls, that one there that's highlighted blue, and select that. Once that's deselected, on screen touch controls will no longer work. Obviously, if you don't have a controller connected and all you've got is you know your phone and the touch screen you don't want this off but you can always you know en enable it by going back to the menu so if i click continue now as you can see it has now disappeared and i can go ahead and play you know good old tekken without the rb elisa without having the on-screen touch control so that's it that's how you hide the on-screen touch controls on pp ffpp on mobile if you have any questions feel free to let me know i'm gonna have a game of tekken now So there you go, that is how you disable the on-screen touch controls. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. We have a dedicated channel for PPFFPP, and I'll see you in the next emulation video. Bye-bye.